Hey guys, how's it going? So let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard anyone say this before or have you ever said this before? Oh, my photos just don't do it justice. You have to be there and see it for yourself. Now while that statement may be true, it is better to be there in person. Typically you hear that from people who don't fully understand how to properly take and edit their photos. So today we're talking about how to bring those skies and clouds back to life from boring to banging with just the one dehaze tool. So firstly, timing of course is very important. It should be around dusk or dawn, golden hour, sunrise, sunset, and that gives you the best lighting conditions. Many of you already know that. Now when you're shooting, you'll notice that the camera cannot really capture what the eye can see. The shadows are always too dark, the highlights are always too blown out, but when we're looking, our eye can dilate, wait, our eye can dilate to see the shadows and whatever the opposite of dilate is, contract to see the skies. So when you bring it into Lightroom, it is time to bring it back to what you saw in real life. So let's jump over to Lightroom. All right, so I wanna crop this photo for Instagram, so five by four, and also change the angle by drawing it across the horizon line, making sure it's straight, it looks straight. Next, get the graduated filter. Now we are going to boost the dehaze to get those 3D looking clouds. Also, if we raise the clarity and contrast and lowering the highlights that will help those clouds pop. You'll notice it's still a bit blue in the sky, which I don't like, so I'm gonna adjust the temperature. Next, I'm going to get another graduated filter so we can bring up the shadows, in the lower portion of the photo, and I'll just make those adjustments accordingly. You'll notice I'm boosting the saturation quite a bit because I want the reflection to match the sky. All right, it's still too blue, so I'm gonna bring down the saturation of blue in the photo and also change the hues a little bit more to teal just to get those split tones. So the overall photo, I'm going to adjust contrast, shadow, clarity, make it look a little nicer. All right, the photo is still slightly too saturated for my liking, so I'm going to bring that down a bit, then head down to the tone curve and get some more contrast by doing a slight S. Okay, the sky is too dark. I'm just going to bring up the blues in the photo, the luminance. There's a before and after, quite a big difference you'll notice there. I'm gonna zip out that black spot and there we're finished. All right, so this final look is borderline too intense, but I just wanted to show you what's possible so you can feel free to bring that back to what you like. Okay, here's another example. I'm gonna first click on my crispy preset, one of my favorite presets, and then graduated filter of the sky and you notice the difference when I just adjust the dehaze. Look at all those details come back in the sky. Again, a little bit of clarity and contrast, and I am happy with that. You'll notice though that some of it's affected top of her head. So I'll just click on the brush and hold Alt and bring that back to what it was. There's the before and after, an amazing difference with just a couple clicks. Okay, here's one final example before and after of using primarily the dehaze tool. All right, I hope this tutorial helped you. I remember when I wasn't using the dehaze tool and then I finally started using it. It was amazing. I started making my skies pop back to what I initially saw in real life. So I hope it helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in below because it really does help. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. See you guys in the next one, bye.